So we were taking SQL interview question and answer. So we'll take a few more. What is the constraint? Uh, if you see the the uh, meaning of constraint, is means restricting something or applying some restriction. So constraint can be used to specify a limit on the data type of a table. So constraint can be specified while creating and altering the table. So you put that restrictions and you know sample of a constraint can be you. The constraint can be null, not null, that the value has to have some value. It cannot be left null. Check, default, unique. If the constraint is that this particular column or that field, it will be a primary key or a foreign key. These are the constraints. What is data integrity? What is data integrity? Data integrity deals with the accuracy and consistency. Accuracy means data should be accurate and consistent all, all the time. No two users should view the value or the data. The values should, uh, should not be different uh, if they view them concurrently or uh, one after the other. It should be accurate and consistent. So data integrity defines the accuracy and consistency of data which is stored in the database. It can also define the integrity constraints. Again, we know that about the constraints. Integrity means it, the data has to be accurate and consistent to enforce business rule of the data when, when it is in, entered into application or database. So when you are entering or you are feeding the data inside your database, then this integrity uh, or data integrity plays an important or wider role to keep your data or database accurate and consistent. Next is what is auto increment? Increment means increasing, auto means automatically. So auto increment, this is a keyword. Allows This allows uh, the user to create a unique number to be generated when a new record is inserted into the table. So whenever you are inserting a table, uh, this is uh, this may be your responsibility to add a number also as the, as the say, serial number kind of thing. But auto increment will do it for you. So auto increment keyword can be, they are used in Oracle and identity keyword can be used in this uh, SQL server. So these are two different databases where you can have auto increment as the keyword here in SQL server, you can apply the identity. And mostly this uh, keyword can be used whenever you have a primary key which is employed. What is the difference between a cluster and a non-cluster index? See that um, index can be sequential, cluster or non-cluster. So cluster, first we'll talk about, talk about the clustered index. This is used for easy retrieval of data from the database by altering the ways that the records are stored. Okay, so database sorts out rows by the column, which is said to be clustered index. While in a non-cluster index, this case, index does not alter the way it was stored. In this, altering the way the records are stored is possible, cluster index, but in non-cluster index, it does not alter the way it was stored but creates a complete separate object within the table and it points back to the original table rows after searching. Next is what is data warehouse. Data warehouse, uh, consider a large big giant uh, shed right that you find uh, in, a, in, a, in an airport you have a hangar so all the data is kept there now you want to search you go to that data warehouse and you search the data. Data warehouse is like that only. It is a center, central repository of data from multiple sources of information. So these data are first consolidated, they are transformed and then they are made available for the mining and online processing. For mining and online processing. So data mining and you know OLTP, OL, these are all related with the data warehouse. So warehouse uh, data has and have a subset of data which are called as data marts. What is self-join? Self-join. Self-join is said to be a query which is used to compare to itself. Compare to itself, we use self-join. So this is used to compare values in column with other values in the same column in the same table. Now you have a, you have a column, okay, this is a table. Now you want to compare, say you have to find the maximum of the, these values or you have to search or find out and search two values of the same column. How are you going to do that? For that you use the self-join. So aliases can be used for the same table comparison like s dot and p dot like this. Same column name will be same. What is a cross join? Cross join. Cross join defines a Cartesian product where number of rows in the first table multiplied with by the number of the rows in the second table. This is cut cross join. So it's if just uh, for instance where clause is used to uh, in this cross join, then the query will work like an inner join. The inner join, the outer join, etc. What is user defined functions? The functions which user defined, you know, you can create functions. There are create functions which are up, 
uh, given by the the language or you can say the, the package but the user defined functions are functions written to use that logic whenever required so it is not necessary to write the same logic several times uh, by doing that it is better idea to, to write instead of function that can be called and executed whenever needed what are all types of user defined functions so there are three mainly three categories types of user defined functions scalar functions inline table valued functions multi statement valued functions scalar uh, returns unit variant define the return clause and other two types return table as a return so here you get a table what is collation 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 uh, see let me first tell you about this then i'll give an example so collation is defined as a set of rules these are set of rules to determine how character data now we are talking about the character data so this 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 is to determine determine how character data can be sorted and compared now you have a string or character data you want to compare them to sort them so this can be used to compare so a and the other language characters and all it also depends on the width of the character so ascii value can be used to compare these character data this is the collation what are uh, different types of collation sensitivity so these are the types of collation sensitivity uh, case sensitivity like these are uh, they both are a but one is upper case one is smaller case accent sensitivity kana sensitivity like japanese kana characters bit sensitivity since you can have single byte character also and double byte character also what are the advantages and disadvantage of stored procedure stored procedure procedure are nothing but the set of instruction you will store say to at certain event you want to uh, you would like to execute them so stored procedure can be used as a modular programming which means creating once and storing and then calling for several times whenever it is required so this supports the faster execution instead of executing multiple queries this is the idea of stored procedure so this will reduce your network traffic and provide better security to the data right disadvantage is that it can be executed only in the database and utilizes more memory in the database server this is this is the disadvantage what is oltp online transaction processing oltp or online transaction processing this is this manages the transaction based application which can be used for data entry and easy retrieval processing of data data entry and easy retrieval processing of data so this processing this processing uh, it will make uh, you know makes uh, the things the transactions they are uh, made simple and efficient so it is faster more accurate results giving and um, quite uh, less expensive with respect to if you talk about this oltp they are very good for example uh, brand bank transactions on daily basis so these are the uh, one of the uh, the uh, indication of your online transaction processing next is what is a clause clause sql clause a clause is defined uh, is defined to limit the result set by providing condition to the query so you provide a condition that is you use a sql clause so this usually filters some rows from the whole set of records so you want some specified Uh, information you get from a clause for example a query that has where condition query that is having having condition these are all clauses having where what is a recursive stored procedure we have seen the stored procedure now what is recursive stored procedure when a stored procedure is going to call itself until it will it reaches some certain exit condition or a boundary condition this is a recursive stored procedure so this recursive function or a procedure helps programmer to use the same set of code any number of times what is union minus and interact command see union operator is used to combine the result of two table okay and it eliminates the duplicate also from the tables minus means this minus operator is used to return rows from the first query but not from the second query minus query from this table but not from this table so matching records of the first first and the second query and other rows from the first query will only be displayed as a result not from the second table intersect uh, operator it is used to return rows written by both the queries first query and second query what is alias alias is multiple naming command alias uh, name can be given to a table or a column see the alias name can be referred in the where clause to identify a table or a column so you can use say if you have a column say salary okay salary 
we can use s dot salary you can compare it with t dot salary so these are the t dot salary these are the aliases for example you have st dot student id you can have a result from student st and for example as ex you can have st dot student id is equal to ex dot student id so this st and ex they are the aliases here okay st refers to the alias name for the student table and ex refers to the alias name of the exam table what is the difference between truncate and drop statement truncate will remove all the rows from the table and it cannot be rolled back you cannot roll back the truncate command drop on the other hand removes a table from the ta from the database and then you can roll back uh, this cannot be rolled back for Again, this operation cannot be rolled back. What are aggregate and scalar function? Aggregate for, uh, functions, like you want to compute the, the average, the minimum, the maximum, or the sum. So, aggregate functions are used to evaluate the mathematical calculation. It will return the single value. And this can be calculated from the columns in a table, while the scalar function return a single value based on the input value. For example, aggregate would be maximum, a count. So this will uh, this this will calculate with respect to a numeric numeric value. While scalar will uh, like uppercase and now well, this will give you a, you a string you pass it will give you uppercase. So this is calculated. The next question: How to strings. fetch common records from two tables? Common records result set can be achieved by fetch common records from two tables. Select student ID from student, intersect then select student ID from exam. This is an example of how to you can fetch record common record from the two tables. How to fetch alternate records from a table? Records can be fetched from both odd and even uh, row numbers. So alternate records to display even numbers, you can have select student ID from select you know these are the row row values where mod you are you are using the mod modulus row number comma two equal to zero and to display odd you are just using row number comma two equal to one. So you will get a even and odd record uh, alternate records. And um, you can just say from select row number student ID from student where mod row number by two is equal to one dot. You know you can have any query like this. This is how the main um, theme of this question is this one. Okay, how to select a unique records from a table? If you want to select unique, you use the distinct keyword. So selecting unique records from a table by using distinct keyword. So select distinct ID. These are the column from student. What is the command used to fetch five first five characters from the string? You have a provide you are have a string, you are provided with a string, you want to fetch the first five characters. So there are many ways to fetch five characters from the string. You can have a substring function like student name, comma one, comma five, uh, as student from student. These are all imaginary, you know, column name and uh, the table uh, name. Okay. The other uh, option to choose the five character will be write student name, comma five. As student from student so this will be fetching the first five characters from the of the string which operator is used in query for pattern matching you use like operator like you can use the underscore also you can use the percent sign so uh, this percent matches zero or more characters percent means zero or more characters underscore means it will be matching exactly one character like operator you'll use after that you'll use this for the pattern matching for example uh, select star from or select all from student where student name like is how you use a star so it will give you all the name which will start from a and in the second query select star from student where student name like a m i this so this will give you amin and Ami, amit this will give so all these names it will be this is going to give so these were a uh, uh, few more questions on the database in sql so this ends the question answer session thank you so much take care